The U.S. has unveiled a new nuclear bomber designed to surpass its rival's defenses. The iconic B-52 has been a symbol of American power for over 70 years, known for its massive payload and versatility. However, the new bomber isn't just a successor, it's a game-changer, featuring advanced stealth, unmatched range, and the ability to deploy next-gen weapons. The question is, can it avoid the most sophisticated air defense systems? Could its arrival trigger a global arms race? For years, the B-52 dominated, but as global defenses evolved, the need for something more powerful led to the creation of the B-21 Raider. The U.S. Air Force's latest stealth bomber, it can bypass radars, launch cyber attacks, and strike with precision from afar. The first flight photos of the B-21, taken over Edwards Air Force Base, mark a major milestone in its test phase. According to Andrew Hunter, Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Acquisition, the tests are progressing well. The B-21 Raider, named after the 1942 Doolittle Raid, is equipped with nuclear and conventional weapon capabilities, advanced stealth tech, and a sleek design that lets it penetrate enemy territory undetected. While much remains classified, it's clear this bomber is set to revolutionize aerial warfare. The B-21 size, speed, engine type, weapons, sensors, and stealth technology are all highly classified. What is known is that it boasts advanced stealth features, including smooth edges and cockpit windows designed to minimize seams and evade radar detection. It's capable of carrying nuclear weapons, making it a potent asset for the U.S. military. As the world's first sixth-generation warplane, its price was once estimated at $550 million in 2010, now closer to $750 million due to inflation, still cheaper than the $2 billion B-2 bomber. The lower cost comes from new radar-absorbing materials and advancements in aerospace technology. With plans for 100 B-21s, the costs are spread out, unlike the limited 20 B-2s. Despite its impressive capabilities, the exact cost remains classified, sparking concerns over potential overcharging. The secrecy stems from past breaches, such as the 2009 F-35 program hack, which led to Chinese espionage and the creation of the similar J-31 fighter. To prevent a repeat, the B-21's details are kept under tight wraps. The B-21 can reach deep into enemy territory and gather intelligence from high altitudes over long distances. It's also believed to have the potential for airborne early warning and control missions. Its extended range and ability to operate without refueling make it effective for long-distance missions. Cost-effective compared to older bombers, the B-21 is designed with future upgrades in mind, earning it the nickname Digital Bomber due to its advanced systems. Its role is not just combat but also deterrence, demonstrating U.S. strength to prevent conflicts. Working alongside other advanced aircraft like the F-35, it plays a crucial role in network-centric warfare, sharing real-time intelligence and directing weapons. One of the most groundbreaking features is its ability to be flown by a pilot or remotely controlled. The United States Air Force operates the B-21 without risking pilots' lives, offering unmatched flexibility compared to other bombers. Countries like China are closely monitoring its development, with Chinese researchers claiming that hypersonic missiles, reaching Mach 6, could take down a B-21 in combat. However, the B-21's advanced stealth makes it nearly impossible for even these missiles to target. As the B-21 prepares for service, questions arise about the B-52's future. Will it be retired, or can it serve a new purpose? Think of the B-52 as a delivery truck capable of carrying many missiles, but not sneaking into defended areas. The B-21, on the other hand, is designed to penetrate enemy defenses and hit targets directly. The B-52 Superfortress, developed in the 1940s, flew in 1952 and entered service in 1955. Soon after, the Air Force sought a replacement with the North American XB-70 Valkyrie project beginning in the late 1950s. Despite its high speed and high altitude design, the Valkyrie was canceled after only two prototypes as it was too costly and vulnerable to Soviet air defenses. Similarly, the Convair B-58 Hustler, a Mach 2 bomber, 
had a sleek design but proved costly to maintain, with frequent accidents and high operational costs, leading to its retirement after a decade. The Rockwell B-1 Lancer, introduced as a faster alternative to the B-52, succeeded in some roles with its versatile design but was limited to 104 units. As the B-21 Raider near service, the B-1 will likely be the first to retire. The B-52's longevity, having first flown 71 years before the B-21, shows its adaptability. When stealth technology became crucial, the B-2 Spirit was developed to be nearly invisible to radar. Though initially planned as a replacement for both the B-52 and B-1, the B-2's extreme cost and the end of the Cold War led to a reduced production, making it one of the most expensive military aircraft ever built. Only 21 B-2 bombers were ever built, but despite attempts to replace it, the B-52 remains a core part of the U.S. Air Force's fleet. Its durability, adaptability, and reliability have made it irreplaceable. Though the B-21 Raider is set to enter service by 2027, the B-52 is expected to continue flying well into the 2050s, outlasting the B-1 and B-2 bombers. The B-52's ability to adapt to new technologies has kept it relevant, while newer bombers like the B-21 take on more specialized roles. The B-52's strength lies in its cost-effectiveness and ability to carry a heavy load. In contrast, the B-21 is more advanced, designed for stealth operations. Despite the differences, the B-52 remains a reliable workhorse. The Air Force's decision to keep it in service for so long speaks to its ongoing value. Over the years, the B-52 has received several upgrades to enhance its capabilities. In 1971, models were modified to carry nuclear missiles, and later, air-launched cruise missiles. Conventional weapons like harpoon missiles and guided bombs were added, broadening its strategic and combat roles. By the 1990s, the B-52's arsenal expanded further with advanced munitions and modern technology. Today, the B-52 continues to evolve with plans to incorporate advanced weapons like hypersonic missiles, ensuring its continued relevance in modern warfare. Now, the B-52 is being upgraded to the B-52J model, securing its place in the Air Force for the foreseeable future. The B-52J will feature Rolls-Royce F-130 engines, an upgraded APQ-82 radar, and new communication and navigation systems. While these updates won't make it stealthy, the B-52J will still serve a key role in the U.S. Air Force, likely as a long-range missile carrier, launching advanced hypersonic missiles like the AGM-138 ARRW from beyond enemy defenses. Meanwhile, the B-21 Raider will take on stealthy, high-risk missions, approaching heavily defended targets that the B-52 can't reach. This pairing of the B-52 and B-21 is similar to the F-22 Raptor and F-15EX Strike Eagle, where the F-22 handles stealthy combat and the F-15EX takes on less risky missions. Some experts suggest the B-21 could blur the line between bombers and fighter jets, possibly taking on air superiority tasks. It's a versatile multi-role aircraft designed for stealth and precision, while the B-52 excels in power and range, delivering heavy payloads from a distance. Together, they offer a balanced mix of brute force and high-tech strikes. The B-21 Raider will be deployed as soon as possible, with its primary base at Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota, supported by Whiteman AFB in Missouri and Dias AFB in Texas. It's built for the future with advanced tech like AI for mission planning. As the B-21 replaces older bombers like the B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit, it highlights the strong partnership between the Air Force and Northrop Grumman to ensure it meets its performance goals. The B-21's long-range, stealthy capabilities make it essential for U.S. military strategy, especially as countries like China develop advanced stealth bombers. China's H-6N bomber, carrying air-launched ballistic missiles, and the H-20 stealth bomber showcased China's growing nuclear capabilities. With a nearly tripled nuclear warhead stockpile since 2020, China's military modernization, including nuclear-powered carriers and submarines,
presents new challenges for the U.S. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out another video by clicking the link on your screen. See you there.